Hi kids, welcome to Art By You. Today we're making the armature of a dragon. So that's the framework for the dragon that you can use in sculpture. Let's get started. For this dragon, you need one longer piece of wire, about one meter long, and then you need two shorter pieces, same length, about 50 centimeters. Now, as this wire is recycled, I can't tell you what gauge it is, but it is about one millimeter in thickness. And this is for the dragon's frame. Now, when you come to decorate the dragon with, uh, you will use a thinner wire, and that will be in the next video. So to begin, we're going to fold our longer piece of wire in half. So we put the ends together. Now it doesn't matter if your wire has kinks and bumps, you can kind of flatten those out if you like, but it all adds to the character of our dragons. So you put the ends together and then you hold and then just do a bit of a squeeze. Now this curve where our wire, longer piece of wire is folded over, that's going to become the dragon's head. So we're going to use our thumb to measure and we're going to hold that and just bend it over and that's going to be the dragon's head. Now we've bent the dragon's head in this direction. So now we're going to bend back thumb and finger underneath, so pointer finger and thumb and we're using about the whole length of our pointer finger down to here. So the whole length of our finger from knuckle, so from my knuckle to the point of my finger and we're going to bend that back. Now that is the dragon's head, that is the dragon's neck and now we're doing the dragon's body and these end pieces of wire become the dragon's tail. So to make our dragon legs, we're going to put this one of the smaller pieces of wire here and one of the smaller pieces of wire here. Now, as I said, this is the frame for our dragon. So we want to try and keep the wire apart. So about half a finger length apart, just in here, because we want to wrap wire around this frame later so we don't want these pieces of wire to come too close together so we're going to keep them apart and put on one of the smaller pieces of wire so we just have to have strong fingers for this part attaching the legs so what we're once again we're going to fold our wire in half put the ends together and then just wiggle that it doesn't have to be perfect, it can be a little bit uneven, but it's approximately in half. And now this is going to be the bit in between our two front legs, this folded piece here. So this is our, our piece for our dragon's head, neck and body, and the end bits of the tail. So the front legs are going to go here. And we're just going to attach the front legs by twisting the wire around. So we'll do one leg at a time. Now remember these bits are the body. So we're keeping those apart. So we'll use these, this leg wire to separate those. So we're going to hold that on firmly with thumb and pointer finger. And I'm going to use my other hand to go underneath and twist that on once and then I'm going to go under again so I'm going under here under here twist that on again and you just want to twist it so that it's firm now that doesn't look much like a leg at the moment so what we're going to do is fold it over again 
and this becomes the foot. So that end piece will twist on. Just twist it around till you feel like it's staying in place fairly well. Around and around. And let me show you closer. Around and around. Now this is the leg. Now this leg is poking out to the side. So I'm going to hold that firmly with thumb and finger, push it down underneath the dragon's body. And then I'm going to use my thumb and knuckle. So the knuckle of my pointer finger, thumb, knuckle, and just bend that so that it becomes the dragon's foot. Okay, so now we've done one foot and we're going to move over to this other side of the dragon's body. So I'm going to use about a half a length of my finger as a gap here. And then I will twist this remaining piece of this smaller bit of wire onto the other side of the body. So once again, I'm holding this in place because remember I said I don't want these two bits of wire to come close together. I want them to be further apart like that. Now this wire is quite thick and it is tough, so you just have to be a little bit strong with your fingers to get it in the right spot. Now the good news is once you've got this, then doing the back legs is the same step, same process. So I'm just twisting that around two or three times, just pulling it a bit tight so there's not too many loose loopy bits. And I know it's a bit hard to tell at the moment. Now my dragon's crossed over so I'm just going to uncross that and tilt the head back the other way so it makes more sense. Okay, now my legs have moved a little bit so I'm going to slide them down so that they're not right up on the dragon's neck. So this wire, once again, this wire here is going to be folded over in approximate half, but you need to leave a little bit extra to do the twisting onto the frame here. Just onto here, you need to twist this bit of wire onto this bit of the frame. Now, if you've got particularly little fingers, you may need a bit of help with this step. So, here's my dragon's head, neck, and front legs. So we're going to be doing the back legs now, and then I'll leave some of this extra for the tail. So I'll stand dragon up so you can get a bit of a picture of how, how this works going to straighten up some of those crinkly bits on my copper and then I'm going to do about a hand's length so from the front legs my longest finger my middle finger the tip down to my wrist and I'll mark that and then this wire the last piece of small wire going to be folded in half put the ends together just to check I've got the fold in the right spot now this folded piece here goes across the body now remember we want to keep these frame wires of the, the dragon's back the dragon's sides apart a little bit so we want about half a finger length so from fingertip down to your knuckle so that that folded piece of my wire lies there because we want the same distance from there to there and from there to there so I'm going to twist this wire on now once again let me show you how to do that you hold thumb and pointer finger really tightly 
and then you can wrap one wire around and around. Now you want to just tighten it up here so that you haven't got too much of a big loop. And I'll do that three times. So I've just twisted that on, wrap that around three times. Now I'm going to do the other part, the other half of my shorter wire onto the dragon's body. Around three times. So this is how it's looking. Remember this is the head of my dragon, neck, front legs and then back legs. Now we haven't finished making the back legs. We're going to fold over this wire again and remember you're going to leave about a half a finger length there and there because you want to wrap this around the frame of the dragon's back. So around and around. Now if you're struggling with this, working with wire can be a little bit tough on the fingers sometimes and sometimes it can be very hard to imagine when you have an image in your head of what something should look like, how a very basic form should look. Now this is not our fin finished dragon and it doesn't even really look like a dragon yet. However, so my legs were out flat and now I'm going to bend them underneath the dragon's body, like so, looking a little bit like a doggy at the moment. And then I'm going to use my thumb and knuckle of my pointer again and bend those feet forward. Thumb and knuckle of my pointer and bend the feet forward. Now I've got these long bits pointing out and I'm going to twist my dragon so that he stands up and just move those legs where they need to be moved. Could be a girl dragon too. So this is how it's looking and then we've got these end pieces that will eventually become our tail. So they will be crossed over and twisted around. One, two, three. My dragon's excited, it's got one leg lifted off the table over here. So this is how the dragon looks, standing up. And what we're going to do for the next video is to wrap all the wire around to fill out the dragon's body. So my dragon's looking, not looking much like a dragon, but the good thing is we've got our basic frame now. We've got our legs, our back, our tummy, our head and our neck and tail on. So then we can fill out the details like the head and the flames and the ears. If you want to, you could do some spikes on the dragon's back. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye kids.